Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, so I got asked an interesting question the other day about collisions with speed and direction. I normally don't like dealing with it because it's a pain in the rear. Vector collisions are a pain in the ass. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking on it and I've actually worked out potentially the most elegant way I can think of of making it work. So I'm just going to generate a very simple player object Nothing fancy. I'm going to make him, I don't know, red. Let's make him red. Um, and a wall. Now, I'm actually going to expand this in the joystick tutorial as well and cover how to do it with the joystick. So, this is just a quick breakdown of how this works. And then, I'll actually expand it in the other one as well because there's some slight tweaking I'll need to do to show you guys how to make it work with the joystick I made. Uh, I'm going to make a yellow wall. Some horrible colours for the morning. <laughs> so, first object, wall. It's solid. Now, the other way you can set solid objects, if you're trying to wander and do it in script, it's quite literally solid equals true. And I normally do that because I check for solid values. Okay. So, first object done. Time for my second object. So, my player, right, this is really simple. So, the way this works is I'm going to check the wall object. And then all I'm going to do is basically say speed is equal to negative speed, right? And then speed is equal to zero. So, what's going to happen is when I collide into the object, it's going to then immediately pull me back out of the object and set my speed to zero. So, basically, I'm applying a negative vector, and then I'm also applying speed back to zero. So, you've got to remember when moving in 360 degrees, we don't want to do things like direction equals negative direction because you're going to snap your sprite into the other way. It's going to look really jarring. So what we do is we apply a negative value back to speed to what it is to jump it back a step and then we set it back to zero. So then the player doesn't force themselves into a wall. Um, this is the most elegant way I've thought of doing it and I guess you could do that using a collision array. Um, the only advantage of doing it this way is I'm just taking advantage of Game Maker's default masks. Um, so the other stuff I'm going to need, and I'm just going to do it in a draw event. You should normally script it in a step event. But I'm just going to go if bracket, and again, just keyboard functions here. So key press, key release, because again, like I said, I'm going to show you guys in the joystick as well. So I'm going to say key check, verify key. That's what I guess it stands for, up. I'm going to apply a speed equals 2. I'm going to literally copy that and I'm just going to change that to down. Now you notice that I'm actually setting it as a value and not as an increment and the reason for that is I don't want it to continuously increase in speed. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to change it to left and then my left is going to control direction and direction will be adding and taking, plain and simple, and right. Now, obviously I can also set it to stop, but I'm just quickly doing a very quick and dirty explanation of how to make this work. So that's all I need for there. And the other thing I do need to do, and I do know I'm putting functions in a draw command, draw commands and step events kind of work the same way, but you should separate them. This is not good, good practice. I'm just going to highlight that. So I'm just going to draw self because the other thing I need to do is I need to link the image and with like draw sprite extra you can do this but I'm linking image angle is equal to direction and that will show my sprite rotating. Okay so after I've done all that I'm generating a room nice and easy. I'm going to create my player and I'm going to create a wall around my player to make sure it works. Very poorly drawn wall. And let's see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't make me a liar. Fingers crossed.
Okay, sweet. So you can see now when I hit left and right, my character rotates. And now if I move into a wall, I can't go through it. I can kind of phase through it, but it only lets me go so far because of that vectoring direction. Ooh. Also, I should have most likely drawn an arrow on my character to work out where he's going. Now, they can kind of get stuck to the wall, so you could almost do something with this here. Oh, sorry, with the collision. And you could almost say something like, we'll add 3 to the... Because remember, speed is the equivalency of X and Y speed. And then it's going to take that based on the direction. This is why it's always a pain. This is why it's always to do with vectors. So, if I hit the wall now, you can see I stop and jump back a little bit further. So it should make it a little, little less sticky. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that very quick tutorial. Um, again, subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you want to see a video made, please ask. I know I've got a few on the back burner I have to do. So have a great day.